everyone. It's me, Virginia, and I'm playing Pirates today. It's my favorite game to play. I love pretending that I'm sailing on the ocean, crossing the great sea. Oh, what a game it is to play. Oh, I just love it. It's full of adventure. Can you imagine if you ever got to go on a real pirate ship back in the day and sail across the ocean? Oh, that would be such a great adventure. I would love it. The wind in my hair and the birds and the, and the treasure. Oh, the treasure. That would be fabulous. <laughs> Actually, I have a nice pirate poem for you today. I taste the salt in the salt in the air. The wind is in my hair. I hear a gull squawk from afar. I look out and I see that I'm sailing on the sea. Oh, playing pirates is the best game by far. <laughs> Heave ho. Wow, I love it. What kind of games do you like to pretend to play? <laughs> I love playing pirates, and I like pretending that maybe there's a huge sea monster that comes up over my ship, and I have to use my sword, and I, uh, uh, and I get them off of my ship, and I save my whole crew. It's amazing. <laughs> and then we sail to an island, and we dig for treasure, and we find a huge chest full of pirate gold. Arr, oh, that would be so fun. Oh, I just love it. Well, my friends, today's story is about a pirate, Patricia the pirate. But they're not like any regular pirates that you may have read about. Patricia is a girl pirate who, with her and her family, help save people and do good deeds for people. Those, that's the kind of pirates they are. It's so great. Would you like to hear the story? OK, well. Let's go. Oh, oh my. Oh, pardon me. Oh, oh, my ship just broke. Oh, don't worry. Next island we land on, I'll replace the parts. Come on, everyone. Let's go hear the story. Once upon a time, on the high seas aboard a mighty ship, traveled a brave young girl named Patricia. Her parents were the captains of the ship, and she was finally old enough to come along on one of their adventures. You see, Patricia's parents were pirates, but not your regular run-of-the-mill pirates. Oh no, these pirates helped people, and just like the ship's name, the Phantom, after they helped someone in need, they disappeared without a trace. Patricia's parents didn't want any awards or to be on TV for being heroes. They helped because it made them feel good to be of service to others. This one particular bright day, as they sailed along, Patricia was hanging out a bit over the side of the ship, watching the water and the waves slap up against the side of the vessel. Patricia was daydreaming about all the daring rescue missions she would be involved in and the crowds of people that would cheer her on and present her with shiny awards and medals afterwards. <laughs> but suddenly, she spotted something strange floating slowly by the side of the boat. As she looked closer, Patricia could see a loose plastic bag with, with something dark inside. She ran to get the pole hook and lowered it into the water to scoop up the garbage. When she tried to lift it out of the water, it was too heavy. Help, said Patricia. Can someone help me, she called. A few shipmates came running over to see what was going on. I can't lift the pole back over, she said. The shipmates and Patricia all helped to lift the heavy net and its belongings over the rail and onto the deck of the ship. The pile of garbage landed with a heavy thunk on the deck. What kind of garbage can be so heavy, Patricia wondered. She started peeling away the plastic bag from around the heavy, dark, wet thing and quickly discovered it was a sea turtle caught in the bag. She hurriedly worked to get the bag off from around the poor creature's neck. Patricia's mom and dad had come over to see what all the commotion was about because by now almost their whole crew was gathered around Patricia and her find. Look, Mom, said Patricia excitedly. I thought it was just garbage, but it was this turtle. Wow, said her mom, inspecting the turtle for any signs of injury. The turtle looked up at Patricia and let out a little burp. <laughs> Everyone laughed. She seems okay, Patricia, now that you saved her from that bag. Let's get her back into the water. So three or four of them helped lower the heavy sea creature back down into the water. The turtle paddled around in a circle and then dove under the surface of the ocean, never to be seen again. Good luck, said Patricia to the disappearing turtle. The ship started to move off with a new gust of wind caught in the sails. Well, said Patricia to her mother, 
I wonder what kind of big adventures we'll have today. I can't wait to help somebody in need. Her dad smiled. Patricia, what do you think you just did? Sometimes it's not a who that needs help, it's a what. We share this world with many types of somebodies, and it's our duty to help each other when we're in trouble. Wow, said Patricia. It feels good to be a help, and I don't even care that there's no cheering and awards at the end. That turtle burp was worth it. <laughs> Her parents laughed and agreed. The ship sailed on into the night as the crew of the Phantom all sat down to a feast of mashed potatoes and gravy and apple crisp for dessert. The end. Well, everyone, I just love that story. A, I love that Patricia was totally a fierce girl warrior pirate, and she helped save that turtle. Isn't it amazing? It is so important that we take care of the creatures that we share this planet with, isn't it? <laughs> I just love the whole idea of a family that their whole mission is to go out and help people. I think that is amazing. All right, everyone, I'm so excited to get to our face paint because, of course, it's going to be a pirate. Well, everyone, I'm so excited for today's face paint. I am going to make myself into a pirate. It's going to be great. <laughs> but first, a joke. Why did the pirate have so much trouble learning the alphabet? Because he spends years at sea. <laughs> oh, I just love a good joke. OK, here we go. Now, first things first, let's do a bandana, OK? What color of bandana should I do? Oh, it could be any color, really. Um, uh, uh, purple, how about purple? Okay, let's do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Now remember, my friends, when you wanna do a face paint on yourself at home, you ask your mom and dad first, okay? <laughs> because this is special paint, made specially for skin. Here we go, whoa! Hello, oh, yucky. All right, looking good. A one, a two, a three, a four. Well, hi there, hello. <laughs> oh, I've got another good joke for you. Okay, um, why couldn't the pirates play cards? Because they were sitting on the deck. <laughs> oh, that's funny, I like it, I like it a lot. I'm gonna go on the road with that one. All right, here we go. Just doing the little knot on the side of the bandana that pirates have. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, I've got a purple forehead. Look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, so now I am going to do a bit of a stencil. Ooh, this is going to be great. Look at all the different patterns I can use. So much fun. But which one is good best for a pirate face? I don't know. How about, ooh, a swirly, whirly, curly one. I love that. All right, so I'm going to use my special powder and I stick this pattern on my face and I just kind of rub around. It looks kind of willy-nilly, but the good thing about stencils is that you can't really make a mistake. Doesn't that look great? Wow. The only thing I was missing today with my pirate, with my pirate ship was a nice sword, a cutlass. Pirates would use these crazy swords. Oh, oh, doesn't that look so cool? Okay, that's it for the stencil. Now we're going to outline it. And if I could find my special brush that I like to use, here it is. Now this brush, I'm gonna put some black on. And what do you think, my friends? Do you think it'll be funny if I put on a mustache and a beard? <laughs> I think so too. We were talking about female pirates, and I don't think they had mustaches, but you know what? For the purposes of this face paint, I think it'd be really funny if maybe I looked like Blackbeard, like Edward Teach. And you could ask your mom and dad if you can go on the internet with them, and maybe you could look up those female pirates like Ching Shi and, uh, and uh, Grace O'Malley. Now we're just gonna go like this a little. Wow, so cool. Now I'm gonna get my black powder because all pirates have an eye patch. Oh yeah, so we're gonna darken my eye up like this. Oh yes, look at that. Ugh. And I'm using the powder because I don't wanna muck up my eye with all this paint. So I'm gonna use powder today. Wow, look at that, oh my. Oh, I look like I have a black eye. Wait, I do. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
We're gonna go around like this. There we go. Whoa, look at that. I'm really looking piratey. Here we go. We go up one way like this, and then let's stretch this pirate thing over this way. Whoa. Army matey, I'm feeling very piratish. I think I'm going to go sail the high seas. All right, now what we're going to do is just highlight this up a little bit. We're almost finished. This looks spectacular. We just kind of, what white does, you kind of highlight it around and it looks great. Pink, pink. I wish I had more time for these face paints because I would love to tinker. Let's do a bit of a scar. Ooh, ha ha, arr, that makes me look really tough. Okay, what do you think, my friends? Is it time for a bit of a goatee? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know why it's called a goatee. I guess because goats kind of have hair that looks like this on their chin. All right, my friends, let's get this mustache on. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's just get that around. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> I think I look fabulous, and I feel fabulous, too. Well, are you ready for a fabulous pirate song? I'll sing it once, and then we'll sing it all again together. OK, sound good? Here we go. Heave ho, hi ho, it's the pirate life for me. Hive ho, heave ho, I love sailing on the sea. Whenever you're in trouble or need help, just give a call. For the handy, helpful pirates will answer one and all. Heave ho, hi ho, it's the pirate life for me. Heave ho, hi ho, I love sailing on the sea. Whenever you're in trouble or need help, just give a call. For the handy, helpful pirates will answer one and all. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Do you want to sing it again with me? It's such a fun song, and I love being a pirate. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Heave ho, hi ho, it's the pirate life for me. Hi ho, heave ho, I love sailing on the sea. Whenever you're in trouble or need help, just give a call. For the handy, helpful pirates will answer one and all. Heave ho, hi ho, it's the pirate life for me. Heave ho, hi ho, I love sailing on the sea. Heave ho, heave ho. Arr! <laughs> oh, my friends, thank you so much. Wasn't this a wonderful episode of Face Paint and Fairy Tales? I loved the story about Patricia the Pirate helping everyone out, and I especially loved that they saved that poor turtle. Make sure that you put litter in its place, my friends, because otherwise that wouldn't have happened to that poor turtle, would it? No, it wouldn't have at all. Well, you make sure that maybe this week, what your homework could be is to go out in your neighborhood and pick up garbage with your parents and get rid of that garbage because it shouldn't be on the ground because it ends up in our oceans, lakes, and rivers. And we need to take care of our planet and we need to take care of each other, okay? Have a great day, everybody. I'm so glad that I got to play with you today. We'll see you next time on Face Paint and Fairy Tales. Arr.